Hello, uh, welcome back. Uh, we are still playing Blaze in the Dark. It is still week one. This is part two. Uh, we're about to find out whether the uh, the newly formed Towers family gang is about to all die in a bloody brawl in a clock tower. Um, <laughs> so yeah, as, as we come back to the action, um, we see uh, uh, Jack still holding... Uh, this guy's pistol in the air, like the smoke. I, I think we get like a freeze frame. There's still like smoke kind of uh, blossoming from the, 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 the barrel of this pistol. Um, uh, everybody's still like streaming uh, eyes, um, coughing. Um, uh, and yeah, like the the group of you, like as it kind of like kind of snaps out of the freeze frame and suddenly speeds up the, the three of you kind of throw yourself into the, the, fit of the uh, thick of this action. Um, so yeah, who who's taking the lead on this? Uh, I'm guessing Jax, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. No. Cool. So I'm I'm thinking a group action um, is probably the best way of of resolving this fight, um, kind of immediately. Cool. Um, like so, um, what action reading are you using? I, well, actually, what's, what's the what's the goal of this? Is the goal to like wrestle control the situation to kill them all? Like, what's the goal here? Uh, I don't think it's to kill them all. It is definitely to incapacitate and subdue them, though. To seize control. Okay. As would be the appropriate term, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so, what action are you using here? Skirmish. Yeah. yeah, I think skirmish fits. Seems to stand to reason. Um, and so I think the position for this is... Um, I, I'm going to say it's desperate... Like the three of you have all been gassed by uh, by Sav, <laughs> so <laughs> um, you, you're definitely like not in in the best of of positions here. Um, uh, and I think, well, actually, Can no, I make I, the argument. Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say actually, maybe it's risky, and the the effect is lessened. I was gonna uh, make the argument that maybe it was desperate, but then effect. I mean, the effect is increased because I mean, whoever uh, wins is gonna win. Yeah, um, no, that's true. You're right. So yeah, I, I think it's a, a desperate position, and then um, the effect level uh, would be great because like they're already fucked up, um, and if you yeah. get like the upper hand, then you're in control, right? Right. Cool. Cool. Okay, you guys roll it. Roll your stuff. Let's do it, boys. Nice. Well, six Strong at least. Star. I got your back. What do we need for critical? Two sixes. Two sixes. Two. Not mm. getting it from me. So make sure to take a, uh, a stress there, um, yep. Jax. Nice. There it is. Nice. Um, so yeah, I mean that's a that's a success. Like you get what you want. Um, so yeah, I mean I, I'll, I'll let uh, Aldo. Um, sorry, Jax. Like you tell me like how this plays out. Like you, you're in control here. Yeah, so I think I like I have the dude's dude's um arm up, so I like sort of curl it around his back and, and like just push it up and then like smash his head into a table, I think. And I go for I like grab another one and just straight up push him into Aldo. Just like or sorry, into the hook. Um at like cat getting him completely off balance and I I'll, I'll let Hook narrate how that goes. And then I see one on top of my, again, idiot younger brother. And I just, like, go from the back. There, there are four of them or just three left? Uh, there were four total. You've dropped one already. The guy with the gun, you've just, like, smashed into a table. Um, yeah. So, so then I, I grab that one off of um, off of Sav and, and, like, just into a sleeper hold. And I'm like, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As he throws one to me, uh, the guy overbalanced just lands straight into a, a knee to his gut, um, and he like falls to to his own knees. Uh, and I follow up with a, another one to his head. Um, and as he, he falls down and like, you know, face streaming with tears and like snub because of the, the coughing and everything, like Hook is like, "What the hell, Sal?" <laughs> Look, it, it sort of worked. We took care of them. They wouldn't have been as easy pick, pickings without that. Um, but my aim was a little off. I'll grant it. Cool. 
So I, I actually have a quick question for um for Hook, because uh, like you've kind of described yourself as like a little bit more debonair than these other two, right? Yeah. Does that is that reflected in the way that you fight, or is there a kind of like incongruence with this kind of very sophisticated looking guy, and then like just a kind of barbaric method of fighting? Yeah, I think there's an incongruence there. Cool. Um, like Hook has been part of the underworld, you mm -hmm. know, since his teenage years. So he's learned to brawl and throw people across straits and kick them as they're down, that kind of stuff. So he, he, he's not fancy at all in the way he fights. Mm -hmm. You can take the boy out of crow's foot, but you can't quite take the crow's foot out of the boy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. So yeah, the, 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 the four See, of them... Sorry, go we've come down in the world. I don't think that that statement means as much as you might think it does. <laughs> but yeah, so I think like that you know the, the four of them are very quickly like soundly uh, like kind of trounced by the three of you. Like you just you know kind of judiciously um, smash them about a bit until you know they're they're all kind of like they they give up or they're unconscious. Um, and I think like as as the like you know as uh, kind of Hook plants his his knee into the the head of this final guy. Um, like dropping him out, like sending his little flat cap, like sp spinning across the ground. Um, you hear from from above, like a kind of um, like deep uh, guttural voice. Um, somebody calls down the stairs, like leading up to the, the the top floor of the clock tower. What's going on down there? And you hear like the, the kind of like bang of something heavy hitting the floor, um, and then footsteps like crossing the ground, punctuated by this like loud banging noise. Uh, does it sound like they're they're coming downstairs? They're coming downstairs, yeah. So you, you've got like a moment to do something. Yeah, I just I just point to you and like have have us get on either side of the door, and then I just like usher, uh, Sav out of the room, just like get out, get out, and then just like, cool. Yeah, I think Sav will step maybe like just down the stairs a little bit, and uh, he's got a blowgun and darts. He's going to take those out, although he's not going to try to do anything he kind of fucked up last time he's going to let the jacks be in charge cool so uh, w would you say that this is maybe a a role in that case um like are, are you prowling here or are you just waiting for an optimal moment to kind of like launch your skirmish like is, i mean is this... i think yeah i mean i, I think maybe at the point i'm even just going as brutal and as like destructive as possible so i might even be wrecking here but okay um i so, mean i think he's talking about specifically the but like, yeah, kind um, of leading down i don't think we're prowling anymore i think i, okay. I feel like it's it's busted. so so there's not like a, a genuine attempt to kind of like conceal yourself you're just waiting for them to come through the door and then smashing them in fact i might even like he'll get to the door and that seems like a really good point to just like shatter the door, bring him through, and 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 like obliterate him. <laughs> obliterate. <laughs> that is the goal at this point. Cool. So I mean, I think I think what happens in that case, and you'll see that I've created a clock. Um, the the door, like you know, the footsteps come to the bottom of the the stairs on the other side of the door. Uh, and then you see the handle turn and like the door begins to get like opened. Um, do you, like, is this when you spring your trap or are you waiting for him to open the door? Uh, yeah, I'll spring my trap now. Okay, cool. So what, what, what do you do then? What, what does that look like? Um, I think I like yank, yank open the door maybe okay. further. And so like, he'll have to fall in a little bit. And um, just, yeah, just go after him at that point. Am I with you by, by that door? Yeah, I think you're on the other side that's not, like, that is getting open yeah. to you. So, if, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. so is it all right if I, if I open the door? Then, oh, yeah, to absolutely. let you do your thing if I'm with you. Okay. That is a much smarter, smarter way of doing this. Okay, so in that case, I think, like, what happens is, like, Hook, you pull the door open, and you see, like, somebody kind of, like, slightly kind of pull forward with, as, as the, you know, they're holding the other handle, um, and, like, a, a guy is kind of, like, slightly dragged into the room, 
um, but like stops very shortly and you realize that like this guy is enormous like he's maybe like six and a half feet tall um, he's broad shouldered he's wearing like uh, like kind of like a vest with suspenders over the top and like you know trousers um, and he's got in like his, the hand that he's not using to open the door is like an enormous kind of wooden bat with like metal banding around around it um, and so yeah you, you yank the door open um, uh, Jax what do you do um, I think I will, uh, at this point, take some load, um, to a, a fine hand weapon, mm -hmm. which, uh, I don't know if they have, if, like, they would even have telescoping batons in Duskwall. You can say that they do. Um, yeah, then it's, it's, like, one of those. So that, like, just, like, sh sh out and then just right over the head. Cool. Um, so, and it sounds like you're rolling skirmish, but you can always correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, let's do skirmish here. Okay. Is it right uh, if I assist? Taking one stress, right? Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get to a... that first. Um, okay. Uh, so, um, so yeah, you, you choose the action rating, I set the position. I think this is a risky position. Um, okay. Like it would have been desperate had you not got the drop on him, because um, he is a scary motherfucker. Um, so am I. You are indeed. <laughs> uh, so the effect level, um, I think, is going to be just standard. Um, I don't see any reason that it would be any different. Um, like you're just going to go toe to toe with this guy and and see how it shakes out. Um, Okay. Uh, and then bonus dice. So you can take one stress, uh, Vince, and, and lend a, a bonus die here to Jax. Don't you have a thing where you don't take stress when you give a bonus Yeah, die? but I have to explain how I prepared for this, which I don't think is really appropriate in this case. Sure. Okay. Um, and then um, you can either you I, can either push yourself, or I can I give you a devil's myself. bargain. You don't want to hear a devil's bargain? I don't want to hear a devil's bargain. <laughs> <laughs> It was going to be a really nice one. I was going to give you sunshine and puppies and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> see through you. <laughs> Alright, so that's two bonus day. Mm -hmm. Wow. Alright. Well, I do it. You do it. Um, and it's, it's a risky position. Uh, so... Um... There's a consequence. You suffer harm. A complication occurs. You have reduced effect, or you end up in a desperate position. Um, so I, I think what happens is like, like obviously, like he gets pulled slightly into the room. Um, you swing him with his baton. You hit him across the chest. Like you, you definitely do your damage. Um, I, I, I think he doesn't really even like seem to notice all that much. Um, so actually, I should just quickly check. Um, it's two ticks, I think, for standard effect. Uh, yeah. Yes, but this is a fine hand weapon. Um, so does it do one extra? I think it might do one extra. Yeah, I'll check on that. Cool. Uh, I'll assume that it does because it seems to make sense. Um, but yeah, like as you as you strike him um, across the chest, he just like you know pulls up the the like the baton in his own hand and like cracks you across the jaw with it, like as a kind of like rejoinder. Sure. Um, sure. Hey, uh, and you're going to take one harm from that. Can I resist the consequence? You here? can indeed, yeah. Okay. I don't get my one extra die here, but... Um... This is a four. Yeah, so I take two stress. Yeah. Taking up that stress. But mm -hmm. uh, I do it. I reduce the harm. You do, yeah. So yeah, he, he, he kind of, like, you crack him across the, the chest, he takes a step back, like, swings out of this bat, and you, like, duck underneath it, and it, like, crushes the, uh, you know, like, the, um, like, there's a kind of like, coat rack behind you, and he just, like, smashes it into pieces. Uh, and he kind of, like, lets out a roar, like, staggers into the room, and I think swings at the next person he sees, which is uh, obviously going to be uh, Hook. So, Hook, what do you do? Well, I, I get this picture that would, like, all in a very small room and like mm -hmm. almost on top of each other. Uh, so I think, you know, Hook like pulled him into the room and they, they exchanged blows. And as they do that, um, I think Hook kind of realized that this is going to get out of hand. Uh, and he just draws a, a knife. Um, 
he's not gonna be playing around or anything. Cool. So you, you you you're tending to stab him to death. Is that what's happening here? Um. Yeah, I, I guess in that sense, or at least in cap, in cap, in cap I can't Incapacitate. say it. Incapacitate. Yep. All together yep. now. <laughs> it's not working today. Um. So yeah, I, I'm gonna try and do that. So maybe like aiming for the kidneys or the guts. Uh, okay. To... So so slow you... death. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So you, I, I, like I, I guess just to just to establish. Are you trying to kill him, or are you just trying to like wound him enough that he stops fighting? Because I mean, there is a difference here. I think. Yeah. Um... I mean, um, yeah. Unless he finds medical help, it's going to kill him. Okay. That's what I'm aiming for. Cool. So slow, painful death is the goal. Yep. Um, uh, and then, what what action rate are you using to do that? Uh, I think skirmish works. Yeah, I right. It's a brawl. I'm I'm using a knife. Uh, so I, I think this is a, a risky position um, inherently. Um, it could like he's already wounded now. Otherwise, it would be desperate. Um, and then uh, the effect level, I think, is just standard. I don't see that it's. Uh... We're two on one. Could that mm, push it a bit higher? Yeah, that's true. You are two on one. Uh, let's say it's great then. Um, cool. And then, uh, are you getting assistance? Anybody? I can't take any more stress. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, especially especially because if you fail this, I will, will protect you. So I will likely be taking stress there. Okay. So I think that Aldo is finally like kind of put together his next move, and so he's going to do a thing. If you're not, but I think the preparing of like. You know, putting a dart in his blowgun and getting ready right is probably going to take up too much of his attention to help. Okay, cool. So, Sorry, so it's... here's my um, here's my uh, devil's bargain. Um, I, I think like it, inherently fighting an enormous dude with a big bat is dangerous, um, and I, I will offer you like you you take one harm, um, just like by kind of default of fighting somebody who's so dangerous. Uh, but you get the extra dice. I'm just going to take two stress. Okay. So that's uh, that's one dice, right? One mm -hmm. die. Yeah. Uh, and I put a blade or two in my load. Nice. Wow. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> cool. Tell me, nice tell me how it looks like. Like, I mean, you get whatever you want, plus a little bit more, so... Don't have to right, kill him. Right, so I don't have to kill him. Okay, so I think um, you know uh, he, he enters the room, unbalanced a bit. Um, Jacks just like whack him on the head, and he turns around with this roar of rage and like smash Jacks in the face. Uh, and as he does that, he leaves his back completely exposed to me. Um, and whereas I was completely unarmed when he came in, it's probably why he did so, suddenly I have a knife in my hand, um, tuck it out of my, the back of my uh, waist, and just like plunge it straight through the spine uh, and just like give out. Wow, brutal. <laughs> so yep. is he dead or is he just uh, like paralyzed? paralyzed? Wow, brutal. Um, Holy shit. <laughs> we fucked them up real good. Blinded one and paralyzed another. So yeah, I, I think there's like a kind of like pity, like it's not like a scream of pain, it's like a kind of like cut off, like piteous yelp uh, as the blade strikes home and then like obviously he goes down on the floor, um, kind of like kicking a little bit f for a moment and then like his legs go still. Um, there's like blood all over the floor. Uh, the other four of them are still kind of like either unconscious or like, you know, slowly getting up to their feet. Um and, and so yeah, like there's like a moment when you've got like complete control of this place. Uh, is there anything else that you do, or are you just gonna let them like run away and lick their wounds? Um, I mean, I think definitely clear the rest. If there's any more tower to clear, then clear it. But um, definitely have someone watching them. I don't think we should let them just flee. So, are you seeing them out? You're like picking them up and tossing them out onto the street or like how, what does it look like 
So there's, there's no one else in the tower. No, so the, the, the tower is clear. Like okay. you, you've dealt with the people here. Cool. Um, yeah, I, I think like her turn towards the other and says, what do you think we should do with them? Well, Are we talking like in front of them or yeah, like, yeah, yeah. amongst ourselves quietly? No, I mean, I'm just talking about like, is this a show that we're putting on as a group or is this like a actual conversation about what we want to do with them? I think it's a. Sh I was intending to put on a show in front of them, but I think it's also a little bit of an actual conversation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I think Aldo in that case is just going to say, "Well, I don't really want to be cluttering up my tower, so I don't really care if we knife them and dump them somewhere. Or we just send them out." Could use them to send a message. Cool. They're obviously working together. Can I like slap one of them awake? I mean, th there are a few of them that are conscious. Right. Like the guy with the the gold teeth and the pistol. Like his face is now like fucked up. Like his nose is broken because he got his head slammed into a table. There's yeah. like blood all over his face. Uh, kind of like in the gaps in his like gold teeth. Um, uh, and he, he's he's like kind of like piteously kind of crawling around on the floor. I think he's got like one broken hand. Uh, and he's like cradling it and like like crawling around in like the dirt and like he looks up at you and says motherfuckers if you ice me i'm going to fucking become the worst ghost you ever seen <laughs> i think i put my fingers up to his his face and go, no 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 that's not your role right now right now now what you say is if you ice me someone's going to come after us now and i like sort of gesture to like let him speak yeah, and he, he like spits blood on the ground. He's like, you're going to fucking regret missing with the Coleridge gang, man. Ah, there it is. Good boy. And I sort of like pat him on the cheek. Coleridge is going to fuck you up. That's true. That may be true. But um, now you be quiet or else you get fucked up a lot worse first. Yeah, and he, he like spits more blood on the ground, but like falls quiet. Part of a gang. Send a louder message or one of of conciliation or whatever the fuck that word is. Fuck conciliation. I don't give a rat's ass about these little shit fuck in Dunslau. This is our place now and they'll learn to fear the towers. Hmm. I don't really give a fuck about them, but if they're taking that sword in for their game, then I don't think we've got that much to worry about. He'll kind of make a show of looking himself over and then looking at you two and then back at them. Maybe instead of trying to bring someone in here and letting them get their shit kicked in, you just tell them that three boys wandered up, whipped all of your asses, sent you packing from your tower, and instead of coming and bothering us, you go bother somebody else. So I wonder if this is a this is an action here, like a role. Um, command? Yeah, I, I think it's probably like command or like um, possibly like sway. I, I should I should read those two again, just so that we're so right. sway is more about manipulating. Yeah. Okay. Well, Whereas big... command is about your force of personality. But is. Hmm. Is this a group action that we're doing then? Again? Sounds like it. Yeah, I, yeah I, intimidating and threatening or, this command. Or possibly like one of you is rolling and okay, yeah, command then. Uh, but I think actually I think um I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna say like Sav is is the person who's actually like, giving the command. Like everybody else has been kinda like building up to this. Um but somebody can assist if they like. Feel free. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not definitely. actually that good at this. <laughs> You can get, you can take a plus one. Cool, cool. So I'm gonna push myself as well. So yeah, I mean, I think you're in a control oh. position. Um, I think, uh, like it's it's probably like limited effect unless somebody can like you come in here and like fuck them up, yeah. but like they're gonna feel grudges about that, especially since sure, one of them yeah. is like paralyzed. 
I mean, it's not... It's, I guess, more about how, like, afraid they are versus the grudges they will feel. And we did... That's true. Just, ...just paralyze their biggest dude pretty inconsequentially. Okay, well, let's, let's stand it then. Let's see a standard effect. Um, and so you can have assistance. It sounds like at least one person is assisting here. Um, right. So someone take stress for that. You want to help two jacks? Or... Can I help? Uh, I don't think I want to take any more stress for that, though. I mean, it's one. It's just one stress to help? Mm -hmm. Oh, is then it... I'll take... I thought it was two. Is it your one? It's two to push yourself. It might just be one to help. It's one to help. It's one to it's help. One oh, to help cool. yeah. sure. Then yes, I uh, yeah, I'll help then. Uh, I don't think two can two people help. At I, the same I don't time? know. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I don't uh, think so either. Right? Uh, only one character may assist a given role. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because two makes it a group action. Mm -hmm. Cool. Right. Uh, and so would you like to hear Adele's bargain? I'm probably going to push myself, but I'll hear the bargain. Uh, so at least one of these people are going to recognize who you are, and therefore you're kind of like family affiliations. It's going to put like people who are in Ironhook prison on your side in danger. Right. Uh, part of me wants to be a dick and take that, but I, I think I'll just eat the stress. Okay. Cool. And we said it was controlled standard? I think so, yeah. Okay. Nice. I can work with that. Cool. Um, so I think, like, controlled... Um, you hesitate, withdraw and try a different approach, or else do it with a minor consequence. Mm -hmm. uh, a minor complication occurs, you have reduced effect, you suffer loss of harm, or end up in a risky position. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna say, like the the coal burners, like they're gonna go away. They're gonna lick their wounds. They're gonna like leave you alone for a little bit. Um, I, I am gonna take up the unrest in Dunslow, though. I think just in general, like this is contributing to the kind of like um, mm -hmm. unrest on the streets. Sure, that seems reasonable. Definitely. Cool. Ooh. So, yeah, it's now one quarter of a way to the game war, boys. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, so I, th I think like, um, you know, the, the, those who can still walk, pull away those who can't and like the group of them like disappear off into the, the kind of like murky streets of Dunslow, um, leaving like a big blood stain in the middle of your new floor, um, along with a whole bunch of like other detritus. Uh, and I think that's like probably the end of the first like school phase. So um, let's cool. figure out how that works. Boys. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> first school home. successful. <laughs> cool. I think we just want blades in the dark. <laughs> we definitely I don't think did. that's how it works. So, um, it's part of downtime, isn't it? Actually, the uh, the kind of um, yeah, yeah, I think so. It starts on one forty six, I believe. Cool. So, uh, after a score, the PCs take stock of their income from the operation. A successful score generates both rep and coin. So, is somebody being nominated, like, per strings holder of the crew and, and keeping track of this? Vince. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's that's okay. Vince's character. Okay. So, um, you take two rep by default. Uh, if the target of the score is higher tier than you, take plus one rep per higher tier. They were the same tier as you. Um, so yeah, you get plus two rep. Um, I think like it says if you keep the operation completely quiet so no one knows about it, you earn zero rep. But I don't think I think everybody knows about this. Um, <laughs> Turns out when you blind and paralyze people, mm -hmm. people hear about it. Uh, and then uh, the crew earns coin based on the nature of their operation and any loot they seized. Um, so I, I'm thinking, like, so it gives the option of two coin, which is a minor job, several full purses, or four coin, a small job, a strong box. Um, I think I'm actually going to split the difference between those two and say it was three coin. Um, like, you, you find, like, um, 
I, and I don't think that it's like wholly like coin coin, but like there were people dealing out of this clock tower. So you find like some vials, um, you know, like a little bit of like cash, um, you know, like a, a kind of various like bits of paraphernalia. Equipment. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, and so, yeah, you've, you've seized a pretty valuable um, like kind of set up here as well in the clock tower, which is uh, mechanically going to become your lair. So there's that. Cool. Awesome. cool. So it also notes that most districts have crime bosses that expect smaller crews to pay a tithe from their scores. Um, in this case, there definitely is. Um, we know what their name is. Uh, their get name is Garnet Strathmill. Um, so yeah, Garnet Strathmill runs Dunslough, uh, or at least the um, the kind of like slum area. Uh, and so at some point, like once she hears of of what's gone down here, um, some pretty unpleasant looking thugs will come knocking on your uh, your clock tower door and demand some form of restitution. So. Um, you can you can pay them off, um, you can pay her off, or you can not. Um, in which case, we start a clock that talks about uh, how how long it takes for her to come down and take it for herself. Part of me wants to say fuck her, and we'll get to it once we're set up a little better. Part of me knows that we just pissed off one group. We're a quarter of the way to gang war, and we probably shouldn't the boss off yeah well as now the accountant of this uh this crew i have decided that we will pay her off okay i was gonna say we can't go to war with the world yet <laughs> <laughs> cool but i i'd like to have a scene where we we meet uh and talk probably yeah, yeah can we go sense. to her first i mean we, we'll figure that out in a second we've still got some other yeah. stuff like some uh okay some stuff here to do uh so um the next thing to do is heat um and so you take heat uh like according to the nature of the operation um so i don't think it was i don't think it was smooth and quiet um totally was so like, <laughs> i think there could be an argument made for made for contained though uh in that it's in yeah, dunslough and yeah. like you didn't like you didn't like cause a huge disturbance that's gonna make like the blue coats go like, I mean it, like ultimately like they're gonna go you know the, there's these new people like in Dunslough who gives a fuck like <laughs> yeah there's gangs in Dunslough all the time so and and they're talking about new people but they're not talking about the towers because that didn't get get revealed mm -hmm. so I I would vote contained yeah yeah I mean one gunshot is positively civil. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, you add plus one heat for a high profile well case target, they're not. Um, add plus one heat if the situation ha happened on hostile turf, which it did. Um, you add plus one what heat if you... What is our turf? Do we have one yet? Well, you now do, yeah. Okay, the right. clock tower and it's kind of surrounding grounds. Okay. Um, you add plus one heat if you're at war with another faction, uh, which you're not. Why not? And add plus two here if killing was involved, and it wasn't. Um, so yeah, does that leave you at um, five I think, heat? I think five heat. Wow, what? three, no, three, three. No, not five. It was, it was, it's two, it's two heat base, for right? Contain and plus one for hostile tough. Yeah, no base. Okay. I see. Okay. Oh, it's two rep. Just as the yeah, yeah. two rep base. Okay. No okay. Yeah, yeah, three, three heat then. Yes. Cool. Um, and then I have. So we actually haven't talked about this, um, but the next section is entanglements. And I can either write, write, uh, like roll that privately, and you guys can, um, you know, like find that out, kind of spare the moment, or we can do this like out in the open. It's up to you, really. Um, there is, there are certain mechanics that say, like, when you roll entanglements, you get to choose, which sort of implies that the roll is in the open, but that is not one of our special abilities. 
that we can yet as hawkers. So maybe that's not true for us. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, I, mean I, I, sorry, I was gonna say the book specifically calls out you can either do it in the open or or privately, and it's up to you guys like how you feel about it. Like I, I have no vested interest either way. In for maybe for the stream, right? Let them see what what we did entirely oh, I mean, for the stream. I I can yeah. do that for them without you guys seeing it. <laughs> Cheers then. <laughs> You know what, I'll just roll it out in the open and then uh and then everyone will know where we're at. So you're we on crying through you're on three heat, right? Yeah. Yep, yep. Cool. So I roll two D six and keep the lowest because you don't have a wanted level. Right. I think this is how roll twenty works. I could be wrong. Yay! <laughs> there we go. Uh so that is uh gang trouble or the usual suspects. So we don't have a gang, so the usual yeah, suspects. The usual suspects. Uh, which says the blue coats grab somebody on the periphery of your crew. One player volunteers a friend or vice purveyor as the person most likely to be taken. Um, so I think I think we'll come back to that <laughs> at, a, at a point <laughs> at which we think that it's it's narratively interesting to have somebody snatched. Um, but if anybody can think, like, keep, keep it, uh, I kind of thought out, I guess, um, in terms of um, who you think might get s snatched up by the blue coats. Uh, and we'll move into the, the downtime activities. So um, everybody gets, like, two activities, I think, right? And then you can spend yeah. coin or wrap for additional activities. Um, so uh, does anybody have a strong idea of how they want to play this out? Well, I definitely need to do some vice indulging. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I think reducing our heat, right? That was, those would be the two that I I do. Mm -hmm. I think um, Aldo is going to start setting up a like lab base of operations in the tower. And uh, that might actually be all he does. Like he may throw both actions into that. Cool. I do think that uh, maybe since I'm, this isn't really related to my downtime, but just a sort of thing tossed out there. Since I'm the one that's been out of prison the longest, or out of prison at all, uh, maybe it makes sense that uh, it'd be somebody from my background that gets snatched by the blue coats whether that be uh, jewel my blood dealer friend or even Velen, uh the guy that runs the hound pits in either case unless somebody says otherwise can i actually sure, suggest uh considering this was kind of we did a, a strange thing right where we normally have our crew uh base of operation already set up when you start blazing the duck we actually did the score for it mm -hmm. um and we have someone who helped us even though we didn't see it on screen the rose a blue coat was instrumental in us acquiring this building in some ways so and was it the rose i feel yeah. i feel like it was somebody else that helps you no. i don't think anybody helped us did they yeah, like so it, it, in, in the crew creation, there's a, a section where it says oh. somebody helped you like get this thing, but I yeah. think it's another. I think it's another faction possibly that helps you get it. No, it's a person. It's a person. Is it? And then people are happy or unhappy, right? Or did I get that wrong? I mean, I, that's definitely a thing that happens, but I think that it's not a single person that helped you. I think. Um... So you choose a favorite contact, and like that influences people who like you or dislike you. Um, but one faction helps you get an upgrade. They like you, and you get plus one stays with them. Your option: you spend one coin to repay their kindness and take two stays with them instead. Um, so yeah, I I, I think it, also for being snatched up by the blue coats, I kind of feel like Larose is slightly off the table. Um, mm -hmm. He would have to really badly fuck up in order for the blue coats cool. to like drag him in. 
I was just going to say, in either case, I'm thinking that, uh, like, um, pretty much 100%, unless you guys, like, veto it, Aldo is going to pay off if it's one of those two people, because I he mean, kind of wants to stay in both of their good graces. Don't we get to roll first and then decide? Or yeah. Or not? So I mean, even, we'll, we'll come sorry. back to this later. Um, what I want yeah, to do now right. is start the, the downtime actions. Um, so it sounds to me, um, Sav, as though you've kind of got your downtime actions like prepared. You just, you, you're starting a, a long-term project and then playing it through a little bit. Is that how that's working? Yeah, I mean, that was the plan. I think um, Sav has a sort of, uh, I guess, alchemical recipe that he's come up with, but he needs to start like putting together a place to work on it because he's been kind of cut off from his lab. He used to work at the academy, but obviously he can't go back there. Cool. So, so this is you saying, the, so the long-term project is setting up a lab, is it? Yeah. Cool. So let's, uh, let's start at clock there. Um, I feel like we're looking at maybe like six sections. Seems fair. So I will repurpose here Roland Neely. Um, let's call this uh, Lab Laboratory. This is where we realize I can't spell. Um, and we'll roll him all the way back. Nah, just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So what does this look like? We, we see, obviously, like... You, you setting up the lab um, and obviously you've got like a little bit of equipment left over from um, like the people that used to be here before but they weren't really manufacturing as much as like mm -hmm. just cutting the shit out of whatever stuff they could get their hands on right yeah no I, I think the way that this sort of plays out uh, as we kind of you know get the montage of Aldo going about setting up a new lab this, we get this sort of shot of him pursing his lips and sort of shaking his head, looking over the shit that they had here, and he pretty much just tries to liquidate that as best he can. Like, he, just whatever cash he can get from the shit that they had, he doesn't want any of that, because it's garbage equipment. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, then we see this sort of, like, cut of him sort of sketching out what it is that he wants in different places. Like, he takes a probably an entire floor of this clock tower, because I think we established that they were pretty small, the floors. So I think he's probably just kind of sketching out what he wants where and making sure that, you know, the floor will bear the weight of the equipment that he wants in that spot and all of that kind of stuff. So it's basically before the acquisitions phase, just trying to plan and make sure that once he gets all of the stuff in that he wants, It'll all fit together, and he'll have this sort of setup that he's familiar with, and he won't have to learn how to, you know, do his work all over again. Cool. So um, you have to roll an action for a long-term project. Um, which which action rating are you think you're going to use here? Um, I think because this is you know specifically not acquisitions, but rather kind of planning it out. It's probably either study or tinker. Mm -hmm. um, either to, you know, sort of reinforce the floor and that kind of stuff to make sure that it's ready for it or study to make sure that he's got everything drawn out in such a way that it'll all fit together. I'm happy to go with either one that you think is appropriate. Cool. Um, I think Tinker is probably, like, the most relevant. Uh, or actually, no, I think what I'll have to do, uh, do study this time and then Tinker next time probably makes the most sense. Um, okay. Like, this is the, like, preparation and then there's the kind of, like, realization. Sure. In that case, um, it's just uh, like controlled and standard, right? Or I guess it doesn't. It, yeah, that there much. is no, there is no kind of like influence to it. Right. I don't think I'm going to push myself in my downtime. So. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, so that's uh, two segments of the clock get ticked up. Um, I should have linked this actually. I, I'm going to make a, a new clock so that I can link it to your um to your character sheet. And then you can tick it okay. up. Uh, it's linked to. Oh, good! It's actually not giving that as an option. Um, Excellent. Solid. Okay, never mind. I will just do this and figure it out between uh, between sessions. Uh, so two. 
So yeah, like you have a, uh, you've at least gone like the first kind of like planning stage of your laboratory. Um, Excellent. Uh, and I think we'll move we'll move around. Um, so Kieran, have you uh, do you, do you know what um, Jax's like first move would be uh, following the yeah. kind of showdown at the uh, the clock tower? I think it's reducing heat, and I actually think there's going to be a like a kind of a cool dichotomy between the two actions. Um, because I think reducing heat, he's going to uh, put the fear of the towers into the people around us. Okay. Um, so how, well, how does this look? Like, what, what does Jax go out and do? Um, I think he, like, tries to... There's, sort of, there's got to be some sort of, like... Um, like, people talk. And there's got to be sort of, like, nexus points, I guess. <laughs> that people, like of people who would talk and so he just sort of you know strolls in i think he's got you know a pretty pretty uh like vicious looking weapon on his back and he's just you know you may or may not have heard what happened over at the clock tower but i'm gonna make sure i'm here to make sure that you didn't hear understand you didn't hear <laughs> cool so uh that sounds to me like you're using command. Um, yes, yeah. I am. I can't push myself or anything here on these things. I don't know. Um, I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to. I don't. Yeah. Well, then it's not an issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like this is this is just a controlled or the position and stuff here doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, yeah. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Wow. Oof. I mean, uh, something, yeah. something. That, that's one. Yeah, it, it still yeah. break reduces. I, I, I guess you're just not as intimidating as as uh, as you thought. I, I think, like, maybe as you, like, you know, you, like, stare over you down and nobody wants to meet your eyes because you've got a big fucking weapon. Um, but as, like, you walk away, someone just, like, looks over and goes, who was that? And someone like, looks back <laughs> and goes, I think it was one of the coal burners. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well then that just destroyed the dichotomy I was trying to create. So, <laughs> cool. excellent well, way to go, dice. Dichotomy destroyed. Um, but uh, we will we'll take our second break here, and we'll come back and we'll see uh, what uh, Hook is going to get up to during his downtime activities. So, yeah, stick around. Um, keep watching. Uh, we'll be back. <laughs> 